across the street inside of this apartment complex. And when they went in to arrest him, well, they made a gruesome discovery. They discovered a deceased female on the floor in an advanced stage of decomposition. He also told detectives that he was in a relationship with a female who was pregnant, the female who was found inside of the apartment. This is the story of Denise Middleton, aged 26, a 38 weeks pregnant lady who was fatally shot seven times by her boyfriend, Tori Damian Moore, aged 31. Weeks later, Tori shot someone else in a convenience store which made police issue a search warrant for his apartment where they discovered Denise's decaying body that had been laying in the bedroom for over a month. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. In killing a Montgomery County gas station employee last week is facing new charges after investigators found the body of a pregnant woman inside his apartment. This story will be taking us to the was a 26-year-old lady who was from Brooklyn, New York, but lives in Silver Spring, Maryland, according to her Facebook page. Denise was described as a funny, witty, and loving person. She was said to love fashion, hair, and makeup. She was described as a really great person who is always complimenting someone and giving out love. Denise was in a relationship with a man named Tori Damian Moore. Tori was someone who had multiple felonies, but out of how kind and loving she was, she decided to give Tori a chance, which would eventually be the worst thing she ever did. Denise found out she was pregnant by Tori and she was so happy. She was looking forward and so excited to becoming a mom. She had a name ready for the baby which was Ezekiel. Denise was 38 weeks pregnant when disaster struck. On this fateful day, Denise and Tori were home when they got into a heated argument. Tori being the violent person he has always been, could not handle the heat by stepping away or remain silent. He decided to do the unthinkable. He got his gun and shot Denise multiple times, at least seven times. Typically, when people commit crimes like this, they call the cops or bury the body or hide the body somewhere in the bushes. Tori did none of these, he decided to live with her body until it was accidentally discovered by the cops. One month passed by without anyone looking for Denise thinking she was safe with Tori. After almost two months living with the body of Denise, Tori went down the street to a nearby convenience store to buy some things. He got into a confrontation over an iced tea with the store clerk, later identified as 61-year-old Ayala Wundamu. The incident escalated and Tori pulled a handgun from his vest and shot Wundamu multiple times before leaving the scene. This is what police say they know for sure. Sometime around 3 Thursday afternoon at this gas station on this busy stretch of New Hampshire Avenue near Columbia Pike, someone got into a fight with the clerk working the register and shot him. Police say the clerk was hit in the chest and killed. Fred Souls runs a nearby business and says he knows many of the employees at this gas station. They're young kids. Uh, they, they just, you know, they work hard. They came here to do a living. And this suddenly happened. It's very sad. It's shocking. What police say they don't yet know is who fired the gun, what started the fight, or how the suspect got away. Right now, the detectives are looking at the uh, surveillance footage and, you know, trying to gather any witnesses or any information that would indicate how the suspect left the scene. 